we go. OBS, thank you for actually doing your thing. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, for the game to do here. Welcome to you back to another episode of the Saga Lock. I had to move my mic because my mic was like, okay, so, I mean, obviously, you saw the mic. I'm whatever. Anyway, how are you all today? I'm all like, I had to move my mic because my mic was like off center and not okay. It's like, yeah, okay, we got it. I, 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 I set it up so you can see the mic. You know, it's right here. Um, <laughs> like, I'm trying actively to make my setup better. And black and white's like the perfect time to do it. Although, I will. I will complain. I, I got room to complain about this. In Washington State, doing content in this state is, oh my god. Because there is absolutely no sense of lighting. Like, lighting consistency does not exist. <laughs> like, like, yesterday... Sunny, all, all beautiful, nice, fine and dandy. Like, it was a gorgeous sight while I was working, of course. You know, and then it started raining when I got off work because, you know, that's just Washington. That's how it is. Um, then, today, I'm like, okay, well, I really should probably record today. Ha ha ha. And it's just been cloudy and rainy all day. And, like, I was so happy and so excited about, like, the way... Also, I'm going to move this a little down. I was excited, like, extremely about the way that it all kind of looked and how amazing everything was with the lighting i kept basically the same lighting situation it does look better i will not disagree with the fact that it does not look better because it does it looks better but still like yeah you had one that was like oh my gosh this is fabulous this is amazing and then you have this it's like it looks better and then it's like that's it that's all that's like it looks better it's fine <laughs> and i just <laughs> it's one of those things where you're looking at it like why is it so different? Like, I feel like this is just one of the states that just has that abundant issue. Uh, and it's just abundantly clear that there's an issue in that regard. So, today's episode is going to be interesting. We trained up to level 16, or 15, and we trained Jonas to 16, because Jonas, let's be fair, I, I shouldn't be using Jonas in the gym, but I might have to. So... And, I mean, I'm literally already using Jonas in the gym. So, basically, my plan for today is get the first gym. Hopefully, one of you guys get some extra points. That did so... See, and this is why we can't use Jonas. Because that was a wood hammer, and it did 10 damage. That was resisted, and it did so much. And one of Jonas's great abilities that he had to get was Jonas cannot attack first. Yay! Gray, lovely. So, it's kind of annoying, but it's worth it. We'll deal with it. We'll find a way to deal with it because after this, we get some encounters. We're gonna have fun, and it's gonna be good. We're gonna be, we're gonna, it's gonna be chill. Um, I said I'm like four times. It's it just, it's just the thing that I just have to deal with. Okay. So, uh, last night I actually felt. <laughs> last night was amazing. Okay, so my mom was awesome, by the way, because uh, I was asleep. Right? Because I had fallen asleep in my room, like you do. And I was watching uh, the Runaway Guys, because they were doing a... It's a Mario Party 6 Let's Play that they're doing, slash, had done, like, four years ago. And <clears throat> I love those kind of games. I love the style of games. It, like, the party boards, you just have fun. It's like... And you just can chill. Like, games that I don't have to think, which is really funny, because I'm playing Pokemon, and, like, I do Pokemon Let's Plays, and Sleep Lux, and all that stuff... And it's just like, whatever. Um, <coughs> but games that you don't have to think, sorry, are good in a lot of ways because they can just calm yourself after a long, stressful day or watching your team get completely freaking murdered by the Vikings. Hashtag triggered. Um, like, ugh, that was annoying. Very annoying. And like, I don't even know what to do against this thing because I literally am weak to this thing. Crap. I mean, it's a ducklet, right? It's a ducklet. Like, what would the ducklet be able to genuinely do to me? I don't know why I asked that question. I hate myself for asking that question. Uh, I'm going to go to a champ because I don't trust Jonas right now. I don't think Jonas... I think Jonas would be to get slapped by, like, a Hydro Cannon or something just because it's this game. Just, just because of this game. It, oh, what am I doing? I set up the water for it. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, oh no. I 
set up the water. That's bad. We're screwed. And it's like, no, you're not. You're not actually screwed. You're just gonna be fine. It's 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 not gonna hydro cannon in your face. Okay. You know, not complaining because I thought I was dead and I thought I was losing Jonas for being stupid or much half Rhonda for being stupid, and then I was and then it, it didn't happen. So, although Vulpix is bad because superpowers have been the move that we have to use. It lowers my defenses though, not my, but it lowered my attack. Crap. Um. I'm gonna have to do a swap, but a swap. Dude, fire types are. This is brutal. And we're not even at the gym leader yet. Oh. Okay. So. Yeah. So my team got brutally destroyed, and now it's one and two. I still have faith, cause you know, Seahawk faithful. Um. And I'm not gonna be like, oh god, we're the worst team ever, and oh my gosh, we're like, uh, we're terrible. But the reason I'm worried is because our division is so high powered that I'm just like, oh god, like our entire division was is all close to being three and zero. Like the the 49ers almost beat the Packers to be three and zero, and I'm sitting here like, oh gosh. So the other two teams in our division are three and zero with the Cardinals and the Rams, and then. The 49ers are 2-1, and one, almost beating the Packers. And it's just like, what are we going to do if we lost to the Vikings? Because now we have to go to San Francisco and get a W somehow. And I'm just like, oh, God. Like, I I, I, I think that we might be 1-3. I really do. But I'm going to have the faith, an eternal faith, that we can do it. And we can beat Garoppolo. Because we have to. And it's not even because I think we can or can't. It's we have to in order to be stay alive in the playoff race. The fact that in week four we have a must-win game is just like, oh, it's gut-wrenching. Uh, but luckily, I'll be able to actually, like, sit down, watch it, and hopefully we'll do good. Because apparently, whenever I'm in my car, we score touchdowns. But when I'm not in my car, we just don't. It's like, what the heck? Okay. Literally, we scored ten points while I was in my car. And seven when I was not. We scored more points when I was in my car. And even in the Tennessee game, we scored 20. It was. Yeah, it was 3 to 6. And then I was in my car and it was 24 to freaking. Ugh. Like, we scored 21 points. So, total in my car, we've scored more points than when I'm not in my car. I guess this year I just gotta sit in my car and watch games. Uh, or not even watch games, listen to games on the radio. Because my gosh. <laughs> Like, that's crazy. That's crazy to even think about. That I've, I've witnessed more points in my car. Weird. I don't like that. Like, I want to actually watch the football games and not sit in my car and be like, okay, I'm gonna listen to the game. Like, as much as I love Steve Rabel, Steve Rabel, I want to see what happens, not hear what happens. Like, like a book. You want to read the book physically. Um, although, it, it, like, audiobooks are amazing because they're convenient, and you can take them on the road with you. That is one thing I do like about, oh. Sorry, chat. I said to pick what Shalad had because I thought we were fighting him, but I guess we're fighting whoever you are. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, it's time to play with fire. Oh god, I'm the strongest of us brothers. Are you really though? No, you're not. Like, I feel like all of them say that they're the strongest. Right? They all have to say in some way, shape, or form, I'm the best! Ha 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 ha. Because there's no actual definitive best. So, because they all have the same situations and deal with the things the same way. Also, why is it the one time I would have actually been okay with freaking leading Naomi is the one time I don't lead Naomi? Like, oh, game. Why? Why do this? Why do this game? Although Naomi does kind of synergize with Rhonda in a way because Naomi takes away one of the weaknesses. Or, or um, Rhonda takes away one of Naomi's weaknesses. Oh, that still is a lot though. So I guess what they owe me taking away, or getting one of the weaknesses taken away, like, that's not bad. Heal? No. 
So if 120 base power did that, what would 20 base power do? Because that was definitely not the hard-hitting present. So I'm looking at it at my angle. Can I kill at 20 base power? I don't think I can kill at 20 base power. I really don't. But that stab actually so it's, ugh, ah, I don't think I, I don't think a fairy cutter kills I really I realistically don't think it does because I mean what it's a 30 30 versus 180 yeah Ugh. I'm trying it. I'm trying it. Oh, you potioned anyway. Okay. Good, good, good. We'll see if it actually would have killed. I don't think so. I don't think it would have. But we'll see. Oh, it would have. Okay. Oh, that was a crit. So, we don't even know. But I know this will kill now. The second Fury Cutter will kill. Oh, never mind. It didn't. Please heal. That's the 120 base power one. Shoot! Ah! Okay. I know this kills. It's, it, we're, I know that kills, but it's it's. Am I willing to risk on the level sixteen? Well, we got. I mean, next we get to find out what the level sixteen is first before I'm like, okay, we're risking it. It's a oddish. Oh, but if I die with oddish, I'm gonna be upset with myself. And it's better to just send in Jonas. As much as it would be fun to see if Fury Cutter would kill, it's best to send in Jonas. Also, I, I, there, okay, uh, the, uh, today, actually, I saw a, um, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does that do nothing? Okay, I'm not even going to question it. It did nothing, and we're fine. Um, so, I saw a trailer for a show today and the show is called the premise which is kind of a dumb name for the show honestly unless premise has a secondary definition that i just don't know about it's such a dumb name for this show but i hope that it has a secondary meaning and you guys can tell me a secondary meaning because basically here's the premise of the show a celebrity offers himself to whoever gets valedictorian in this high school. And I'm like, if you get what I'm talking about, then you can see why I'm like, blah. Oh, his name is Chili. Oh, okay. So it's Chili, Cress, and Salon. Also, Thunderwave's not a bad TM. Okay, we'll take that. Um, so yeah, so you, and you can see why I'm like blah with this whole premise in itself. Is it's just like, oh, I'm a celebrity, so I'm gonna offer myself. And then, so basically, all the high schoolers, because he's a celebrity, like go crazy with studying and are like, okay, we gotta get valedictorian. We have to be the best ever because we want to have it with this one celebrity. And it's like, oh my god, why? Why is this a thing? Why is this a show? In the first place. And, but here's the sad part. Is it's like. Is it not true though? Because. Like. In society today. Would we try harder. To get the harder. Dumb. But. It could be completely true. And that's the scary part of it all, is the fact that it's actually, it actually makes sense. And that's the, like I said, that is the scary part of it. Because if it actually makes sense, that just tells you how ridiculous society has become. Because if we're willing to work hard... For Hello Fun Time. Also, Dude in the Orange Hat does not give you a full heal. Thanks, Joy. 
Um, no, honestly, Joy didn't know. I'm just messing with Joy. But... Maybe it's... Th oh, I see, might be talking about this dude. No, it's not. Oh, I might have gotten it too late. You know what? That's probably what it is, actually. I have to do it before the gym leader, because sometimes events change. Okay. Based off of if it's post or pre-gym. So it's not Joy's fault. It's mine for getting it. Or, like, literally prioritizing the wrong thing. Um, so, anyway, the fact that that is actually potentially true to society is just, like, ugh. It's the best thing. Hey, like, I'm trying to think of, like, if I would do that. Like, if I would try hard. No. Like, if I was presented with that situation, would I try harder to get the harder? No. I mean, even, it goes both ways, I think. Like, it, like, even if it was a celebrity that I had the fattest crush on, would I... No. Because... It's not worth it to destroy myself to be destroyed. Like, yeah, like, no. I would just try my best because it's my best and not have any other incentive or need any other incentive to do better and be better. So, I don't know. I should, like I said, to me, the whole premise of the show is kind of, I'm not going to watch it because the whole premise of the show just seems done. Dumb. Should I move? No. I don't want to teach it to Naomi. I don't know what I was thinking trying to give Naomi a physical move. <laughs> this might actually go to Rhonda. <laughs> this actually might make the most sense to go to Rhonda. Well, actually, I've got Wonder Room on Jonas. So that that can go away. Because I don't need to swap defense and special defense. It makes no sense. But yeah, like the fact that the it, it premise lies, it's just, I don't, like, I don't, I'm not for that. Like, okay, let's go have, let's go do good in school so we can have buddy for the day like yeah no like I, I already know like I said it goes both ways like even if it was somebody who I was like really interested in no like why so the fact that it's a premise of the show kind of disgusts me a little bit and like I think like I said I think it disgusts me more because I feel like it's actually a thing that could happen and like I could see people going crazy for because it's like oh my god I'm gonna have the celebrity, oh my gosh, it's like, sure. <sighs> Anyways, before I get triggered by talking about this forever, like, sometimes YouTube so shows me this, like, the weirdest things ever, and that was one of those where it's like, okay, YouTube, I'm watching a Mario Party thing. Why in the world am I getting this as a ad? And I'm just like, yeah, cause it saddens me what what the world can and will become. Because I just want it to be better and want to be better. But, like, how do you, how do we, in, I guess, improve from it also becomes, a, 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 like, an actual question. Like, how do we not, in the social media day and age, how do we not do that? Also, I was checking Discord, sorry. I have a Forza Street game that I want to play, but nobody's played. Nobody's put in interest, so we're not going to probably do that. Uh, also, I have some details. On some things, I guess, that I could talk about at the very end of this episode. Because why not talk about it at the end of an episode? You know, when you can totally talk about it at the beginning of an episode. Because that would make way more sense. But, you know. So. Anyways. Sleep Block. This is going to be October 22nd. Of 2021, obviously. I'll be turning 22 on the 21st. So I figure, why not? 22nd birthday Sleep Block on the 22nd. Make it easy. Uh, and I'm going to do uh, Sapphire. is what I Or not Sapphire. Ruby is what I decided on doing for that. So, hooray for Ruby. And, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about making it extreme. Like, I'm thinking about it. It's a potential. <laughs> I don't know how great of an idea that I'm going to be. Um, but I'm thinking about it, because it's a shorter game, and if I die a couple times, it's fine. It's okay. 
Um, and like, I just don't know how well that would work out or what that would do. So that's something. Um, a second thing is, is I'm thinking of starting a second channel um, for Madden and only Madden. Um, so that I can just separate the two paths. Because I love doing Madden content. I really loved it when I did it back in 2017. It was like one of my favorite things to make. Except for the fact that it was very destructive algorithmically. And it just is sad that I cared about that. Because it really was. I was really having fun with it. And that's what I should have cared about. Instead of the numbers. Um, so I want to divert both the channels. And just have two channels. One for like Nintendo. Well, it could be like a Nintendo channel. Where I do Nintendo content. And then Dark Souls. Because why not? There's live, live streams. Live streams don't affect the algorithm. So like it doesn't matter if, what I'm live streaming. Because it's just giving me like. Like I can. Like and of course to that effect. It's like well then why don't you just live stream Madden. If you like Madden. Well. Because it just doesn't work with the channel. So, it doesn't affect me algorithmically to do Dark Souls and do fun things on this channel. So, this is going to be the main channel where I do stuff. And then one's going to just be a Madden dump. Honestly. Because I want to do some Madden stuff. I want to do rebuilds. I want to do a whole bunch of things that concern Madden. That some people might not be interested in on this channel. But might. And if you want to, then I can link it. But I haven't named, I haven't, I haven't found a name for it yet. So, don't be worried about it. You're not missing any content right now. But I will kind of give you guys an update when I do make that channel and be like, okay, this channel's been officially made. It's good. It's fine and dandy. Uh! Thought I was going to get good encounters. Not, I mean, I guess this is a butterfree, so it's not even bad. But another bug is just like, uh! come on, game. You could have done a little better. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I mean, if this has quiver dance, then, you know, maybe, 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 maybe. maybe. You know what? I got a whole tub. It might have Quiver Dance. And it's going to be, if it does, good. Caterpie was caught. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm going to name it. What do I even name it? It's a male Caterpie. You know what? For joy. For joy. This is a tribute. To the Soul Link. You better go watch that. I'm having a ton of fun doing it, so. It's, like, honestly been one of my favorite series ever. Like, K like uh, Versus is really good, too. Uh, like, the X and Y Versus with Beakers, that was a really good series that I liked a lot. Um, like, the main states, like, Cage Lock, the Cage Lock, the Versus, and now the Soul Link with Joy are definitely my top three. I don't know what order I'd put them in right now. I have to finish this, the thing with Joy. Before I can officially put an order on it. But I really, really love Soul Link. And I think Soul Link would probably be number one, honestly. Um, just because, I mean, it's my favorite lock type. So that that helps. That does help. And I'm doing it with somebody who I really love and enjoy. So, Tail Claw, Defend Order, Block, and Shockwave. Doesn't surprise me that it's terrible. It also doesn't surprise me it has a terrible nature, too. Woo! Yay. Maybe you can learn Thunder Wave and be my catcher. Nope. <laughs> Why not? Um, anyway, love you all. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you guys in the next episode where we go ahead and get the rest of these items up here because it's kind of triggering me that I don't have them, even though they're. I thought they were easier to get than they are, apparently. But, like, and we get the thing so we can get hidden items. Yay, another $4,800. We're starting this game. We're starting this game off rich. We really are. It's like. 4,800 here, 4,800 there. That's the item, not the shoal shell. The shed shell is the item I was talking to Joy about the other day. I think I called it, I said the shoal shell, and I'm like, that's not right. Let's go to, yeah, so we'll go talk to Fennel and have a great time with Fennel in the next episode. Love y'all. Bye.